Hello, in this video I'm going to be testing different light meters. I've got a Sekonic one over here which is a dedicated light meter. I bought this second hand on eBay for around £80. A brand new one would set you back about £120. Good thing is they're very high quality and they tend to last for years so um, highly recommend it. But there's also a couple of alternative ones which don't cost you anywhere near as much. I've got two free apps downloaded. One of them is downloaded on this one, it's the Rex Light Meter, available on uh, Google Play. And from Apple iTunes, I've downloaded the Lux Light Meter. Both of them are completely free. And, well, let's just see how, how well they work. On all of these, I'm going to use the settings of ISO 100 with F4. And the, the Light Meter is going to pick the shutter speed for me. Okay, at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show three different photographs with exactly um, those settings which the light meter has picked, and you can decide for yourself which one you preferred. Okay, so let's test them out right now. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Importantly, what we've got to do is we've got to make sure um, the light meter is in the same spot each time. So I'm going to place it just here, just underneath this thing. Okay, and we've got, let me bring it closer to you so you can see, uh, we've got ISO 100, which is up here, 60th of a second, and of course I said F4, okay, that's uh, what the Sekonic has brought out. I'm going to write that on this piece of paper, so we've got ISO 100, F4, and 1... 60th of a second. All right. Next one is the Google Play Rex light meter. It might be available on iTunes. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I'm going to place it here. Press that, and let's have a look. We have. It's kind of hard to see, but we've got ISO 100, f4, and this time it's 120th of a second. Okay. It's pretty difficult to see, but that's definitely what it says over here. Okay, so I'm going to write that on my piece of paper. So the Rex light meter gives me one twentieth of a second. It's important to note that these things actually use slightly different technologies, which is why they're giving different answer. Okay, and finally, what we have is the Lux light meter available from iTunes okay and in the same spot is giving half a second with F4 and ISO 100 let me bring that slightly closer thing is with this one it changes every time I move it okay so right now it's showing 125th but if I leave it here okay it's saying half a second F4 an ISO 100. You're going to have to just take my word for for that one because the screen is a little bit dull and it's on the brightest setting. Okay, so on here I'm going to write half a second. So it's one over two seconds. Okay, right. I'm going to now uh, take some pictures and I'm going to uh, upload them as well or rather include them in the video and then I'm going to come up with a conclusion. This picture was taken by the Lux light meter available from iTunes. As you can see, it's completely overexposed and unusable. This picture was taken by the Rex light meter available from Google Play. As you can see, the highlights are completely blown out, but it does retain some shadow detail. You could use it at a pinch. This picture was taken by the Sekonic light meter. As you can see, the exposure is pretty much spot on. Of the three pictures, this is clearly the best. Now that you've seen the pictures, in conclusion, the Sekonic pretty much had, well, it's obvious it was going to be the best exposure. But the, the funny thing is the Lux one, it was it was useless it was completely unusable it was totally overexposed the rex one was also overexposed 
but you know you can get an image out of it so in summary if you want a light meter really you ought to buy one spend a little bit of money and you'll get much better pictures as a result thank you for watching goodbye